Well, we've seen countless stories about how ChatGPT will forever change our lives, everything from higher education to jobs. Some even worried it could lead to the end of the world. But not everybody is sold on the hype surrounding this kind of AI. Famed physicist and futurist Dr. Michio Kaku says this kind of sensationalism is overshadowing what he says is the real technological evolution of our time. And Dr. Michio Kaku joins us now. His latest book, Quantum Supremacy, How the Quantum Computer Revolution Will Change Everything, dives into what he calls humanity's next great technological achievement. Um, Dr. Kaku, thanks for being with us uh, this morning. I've watched some of your other interviews before. You've come out and said American media is hyperventilating over the negative implications of these chatbots, that AI chatbots are essentially glorified tape recorders. What do you mean by that, sir? Well, the media is freaking out about these chatbots, thinking they're conscious, thinking they're sentient, thinking they pose an existential threat to humanity. Wrong. They are glorified tape recorders. What does a tape recorder do? It takes snippets of what's already there, splices them together, and then passes it off as if it created these things. Nope. These chatbots are not creative. They cannot create new ideas. They don't have new, nothing to offer on the table except homogenized, reprogrammed snippets of what's already on the internet. And so there's nothing to be afraid of. These are not sentient. They don't know the difference in right or wrong. They don't know the difference between true and false. They're not original. They are tape recorders. Tape recorders that deal with ideas rather than with sound. So, so we have nothing to fear. Are you uh, a supporter of AI? I mean, do you at least acknowledge that with some AI comes misinformation, loss of jobs for some people in certain industries, privacy concerns, students not using their own brains anymore, having AI do their homework and research for them? Do you at least acknowledge that there's some negative to it or no? Oh, yes, there are guardrails have to be put in place because, of course, these things don't know the difference between right or wrong. They can spew all sorts of garbage. Uh, a teenager ranting and raving about nonsense, that clip could then be put into a, a, a regular uh, Internet feed, pass off as being something authoritative when it's actually a teenager ranting and raving. And so, yes, there's good aspects and bad aspects. Overall, they're good aspects. Overall, it means that in the future, editors, journalists will use chatbots. That's the way it is. However, there have to be guardrails. There have to be checks and balances. There has to be fact checking. And that's where quantum computers come in. Quantum computers are the next big revolution. We're not talking about computing on zeros and ones, zeros and ones, like a digital computer. No, we're talking about computing on atoms. We're talking about quantum computers, the next stage in the evolution of the digital computer. This is and how quantum computers can kind of like be everywhere at once, right? Uh, and what would that actually look like? I mean, is an everyday person like myself going to be using quantum computing? Does that change what my physical computer or laptop looks like that I, that I have on the desk right now? What does that look like in the future? Well, in some sense, yes, the digital computer of today will be like the abacus. It'll be obsolete. It'll be for the junkyard. However, quantum computers are not ready for prime time yet. They're still experimental, but already they can outrace a digital computer by a factor of millions of times. Wow. So in other words, this is the next big thing, but it's not ready for prime time. These computers are rather bulky, as you can see from the video, and they're gonna be placed on in the cloud. So in other words, you will access these things with your cell phone and get the benefit of, uh, of downloading all of human knowledge on your cell phone. Oh my God! And yeah, we're seeing we're showing these quantum computers right next to you here, um, like a huge chandelier. Yeah, I won't be doing any of my computing on that anytime soon, uh, I presume. Dr. Michio Kaku, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.